Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yashala. Call Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rachachadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders about the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Nakwa that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. is Yahanan Nawa. It's coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. A little nice out. Hoodie weather though, it's definitely getting cooler. But um, just wanted to touch on the fact that, you know, uh, how this country is just being totally, totally divided, man. You see? And <laughs> it says Southwest under fire. This is the, uh, you know, the um, airline under fire after video surfaces purportedly showing pilots saying, let's go, Brandon. So now if you're familiar with the let's go, Brandon logo or the saying, the chant is, um, all these football games, you know, college, you know, a lot of these places, they're basically saying, fuck you, biting. They're chanting it over, you know, just hundreds, you know, thousands of people basically in these stadiums saying, you know, chanting, fuck you, biting. So I guess they started, they caught wind of it. They're trying to ban it, so to speak. So now they've changed the chant to let's go, Brandon, you see, which means the same thing. But there's nothing they can do about it because there's, you know, obviously no no bad words so to speak you know what i'm saying but hey hey they hey the so-called white man is doing the same thing that we have to do when we're dealing with youtube man and um with these algorithms man changing up the algorithms and you know you have to use different words different you know um you know uh uh uh, uh you know just different um ways of saying things so to speak so that your uh channel doesn't get taken down you see what i'm saying so, look at that shit right there, man. it has got a table full of damn Halloween shit, man. <laughs> Jake in the hood, just, he, they, they got their Halloween candy already out on the table. Can't wait till it get dark to do this dumb shit, man. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> the lesson. Maybe I can get a little bit of this. So, let's just see if it'll play. While, um, because my uh, internet has been crazy lately. Uh, well, maybe not doesn't matter either way let's see it's loading now but i can actually just read a little bit of it uh okay it says an american airline flight headed to orange county california was forced to divert from denver colorado after passengers allegedly attacked one of the flight attendants the passenger who reportedly punched the flight attendant in the nose was arrested when the plane landed in denver social media users took to their keyboard Saturday to react to the new surface video that purportedly shows Southwest Airlines Live pilot concluding an announcement to passengers by saying, let's go Brandon over the plane's intercom system. So you see, hey, Salakia, uh, <laughs> these people have absolutely no respect for their president. Where, where's the American, um, you know, uh, the American get together, you see? Okay, you lost, but isn't this still your country? Don't you still want to, don't you think that you should still support your, your so-called president, the person that's in, the chief of staff, the, the chief head commander? Don't you want to um, push forth the values of your America? <laughs> but no, you see what I'm saying? Esau Edom is like, no, fuck that. It's like uh, Crips and Bloods, man. Blue state, red state. You know, constantly beefing. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it now. It took too long. Anyway, you get the gist of the story right off the jump, man. These people are chanting. Your, your, your American people are chanting on national TV. Fuck you, Biden. You see? <laughs> and that just shows you the separation that's going on in um, the United States. And that's pretty much what I wanted to touch on. We don't even have to even go off into that, man. Let's get um, the scriptures on it. And it's a beautiful thing because this is something that we pray for, man. We pray Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Wa Baba Ball. Destruction, Babylon the Great. We're watching it. We're living in beautiful times. You can see the actual fall of your enemies, man. And to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans 
that think that um, America is your country. You love America. You waving a fucking American flag in front of your house. The Lord going to destroy your ass, man. Straight up, flat out, man. I ain't even dealing. I'm not trying to deal with a nigga that's got an American flag in his yard, man. Keep that simple. <laughs> Keep it moving. Keep it pushing, man. Hey, how you doing? Keep it pushing. We have absolutely nothing in common. <laughs> Straight up. Jake out here want to be American. Ran, ran out and voted for this nigga that's being chanted down. Jake the one that voted this nigga in, man. They voted this dude, this guy in, man. Now you got all these rednecks at these damn games while Negroes is on the field getting brutally punished, getting their goddamn head knocked off, playing football and basketball, whatever the hell else they, these, these, these Neanderthals are at. And they in the background chanting, fuck you, Biden. So that just lets you know the separation of America, man. But let's get, um, and it's beautiful to us. Should I, hey, I love it. <laughs> For real. I love it. Where, where, where you where you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans at now? Why don't y'all stick up for y'all president that y'all voted for? You voted this nigga in. Where y'all at? Where BLM? Uh, 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 where's y'all fight to stop these so-called white people from, from chanting down y'all y'all president, man? Where y'all at, man? You see what I'm saying? Let's get this Matthew 12. Verse 25. Hey, we loving it. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga on the on the intercom on on the damn airline <laughs> in the airplane saying fuck you Biden basically Matthew 12 and 25 and Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand and if Satan casts out Satan he is divided against himself how shall then his kingdom stand so <laughs> America is clearly divided, man. You can all you got to do. Hey, look, you, you probably man. Before the, the 2022 come in, you can easily have a civil war easily. Nothing to it. It can be next week, next two weeks. The tension is, is just that thick, man. You how about shimmy? I was shy, man. It's, it's turning things up. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Y'all need need to repent, man. Come, hey, ladies, let them do their thing. What you got to do with America? That you, how are you American when motherfuckers stole you, kidnapped you, still got you in captivity and, and, and still over you? <laughs> what you got to do with America talking about you Americans? How are you American? How? That's like going to prison and saying that, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, an American prisoner the rest of your life. Nigga kidnap you and you, you, you one of them now. Come on, man. And, and you know the Lord is going to get at you, niggas, man. Uh, um, that's uh, because you're an accomplice to murder. You're an accomplice to rape of your own people. Matter of fact, you're a con you are an accomplice. You're, you're, you're aiding and abetting a, um, a criminal, man. If you down with America, you are actually a part of their crimes. You don't want no parts of that, man. When the, when the true judge, see, Esau, Edom, they, they, they front like, you know, they're about righteousness. They front like, you know, they, they'll tell you in God we trust. They'll have that little crap on their money. They'll get to telling you about how the other countries are inhumane and we're going to go over there and do something about it. But in the meanwhile, they're the most inhumane people on the fucking planet, man. They're a bunch of damn hypocrites. Here you go, aiding and abetting these damn murderers and rapers, rapists and damn kidnappers, man. If you calling yourself an American, African-American, Native American... Latino American, Dominican Demer American, Jamaican, whatever the hell. You calling yourselves after these oppressors' names, man? You are an accomplice to their crimes, man. Flat out, man. Straight up, man. <laughs> Straight up. That's it. There is it, no way around it. Matter of fact, let me see. Get this on um, Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justified the wicked, because that's what Jake is doing. By you calling yourself Americans, you're justifying the wicked, man. You're justifying these damn so-called white people that have done all the things that they ever done to you. You're justifying it. And he that condemneth the just, and then you want to condemn us 
for saying something about this shit. <laughs> Even they both are an abomination to you. How about Shimei was shy, man? You see that? And you're an accomplice. I'm telling you. The Lord is not, uh, he's not about to allow them to get away with it. So you're not getting away with it. It's that simple, man. That's common damn sense. <laughs> you're not getting away. They're not getting away with these crimes. And if you're going to support them, uh, we're all Americans. Oh, that was so long ago. Oh, my goodness. Especially with that shit. How you, <laughs> I ain't going to even go into that. <laughs> That's another, <laughs> another, <laughs> another lesson, man. Well, let me get this one right here and I'll end out with this. Because we love seeing America fall. If you a Negro in America and you don't want to see America fall, the Lord is going to destroy your ass, man. Straight up. It's that simple, man. Let's get this, um, it's lucky. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, 25, verse 7. And it reads, there be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, which we can't. <laughs> we don't have no joy of our children in this wicked ass place. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, just feeding your children uh, uh, homosexual uh, uh, literature, man, at the age of three. Then can tell them that they can <laughs> get puberty blockers at the age of eight without the parents' permission. Just wicked as hell, man. It says, um, a man that have joy for his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies, man. I'm alive, kicking and breathing right now. And I pray that I can see it all fall through, the whole thing play out, the whole movie play out. I pray that, man. I pray that, man. That I can see the full play out and, and, and see Yahweh Shai come in the chariots, man. In the meanwhile, we are happy to see the fall of our enemies right before our very eyes. So every time you see the news, every time you see shit, even with these shipping containers being out in the oceans, Motherfuckers can't get goddamn um, bus drivers for the, the school kids. The military got to take over. Niggas quitting their jobs at the hospitals, the, the police department. Military niggas quitting because they don't want to take the shot. Hey, we look at that as being success, man, for us and our end, man. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, this is what we pray for, man. Straight up. This is what we pray for. We pray for... Uh, 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 America to fall flat on their fucking face, man. We can't wait for World War III. We can't wait until they start to implement that damn um, Karakma, man. See what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, these these people, America is already laughing at this clown. They already are laughing. But here you go. You got your own so-called American people saying, Chen. Chang, man, some of these games, man, 50,000, 75,000 people in the stands all screaming, fuck you, Biden. <laughs> Here you go. And then you got some of these people, they mad about it. They mad about it. But check out some of the, let's see with these, um, these comments. It says, as a retired airline captain, I got myself in hot water once by thanking everyone for flying Southwest and saying I did not have sex with that woman as a joke. <laughs> with the plane, or oh, I guess they was talking about your boy Bill. Yeah, uh, let's see. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, hey, it's going down, man. Just, just know that. Just know that America is falling. For real, for real, and you should be happy about it. So continue on praying. Put it down for. Of Babylon the Great, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Warm your shoulder.